Not too long ago, I made this video where we took a look at a few video clips that had been released of the Omega 1 engine idling, and it was kind of exciting. This was our first look at something more than just a CGI engine, and at the end of the video, I straight up asked Astron Aerospace for some updates. I mean, we are all super excited and really intrigued by the engine. Well, they did. Over the weekend, I was super surprised to see that they had left me an email with the dimensions of the real engine, the new power output as well as torque. They also sent me two new renderings of the design from the latest iteration of the motor. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the original prototype was set to weigh just 35 pounds and was set to produce around 160 horsepower. Well, both of those numbers have swollen, so the engine will weigh more but it will also produce more power. Now the new engine is set to weigh in at around 120 pounds or 54 kilograms with all its necessary hardware, which is still super lightweight, especially when you take the power into consideration. So how much power? Well, according to the information they sent me, their Gen 4.5 Omega-1 engine will produce 450 horsepower. Now 450 horsepower from an engine that only weighs 54 kilograms is really impressive. But how about torque? In the video I made about the Omega 1, I got tons of comments stating that the engine won't make any torque. Well, according to Astron Aerospace, this engine will produce 600 foot pounds of torque or just over 800 newton meters. And they said those numbers are conservative. So that's pretty impressive. Anyways, on to size. So how big will the motor be? Well, we now know that too. So we have two diagrams that show us exactly how big the motor will be. From the front view, the engine will have a width of 11.42 inches or 29 centimeters and a height of 17.33 inches or 44 centimeters. When viewed from the side profile, the engine will have a width of 12.69 inches or 32.2 centimeters. So overall, it appears that the engine won't be very big which is great news. A smaller engine size means that it can be used in a wider range of applications. The size of an engine can play a crucial role in determining its suitability for various types of vehicles or machinery. A smaller engine size can offer a greater visibility and flexibility in terms of its applications. With this new information about the dimensions of the engine, it will be interesting to see where this motor will find its place in the market and what types of vehicles or machines it will power. Now, we do know the size, the weight, and the power of the engine, but that's not all. We do have some more info. See, I asked them if this actual engine will be able to run on hydrogen, like we thought in the beginning, and the answer was, it can run on hydrogen with zero harmful emissions. Next, I wanted to know about that crazy 25,000 RPM red line. Is that still a thing, or did that change? Well, the answer was no, it didn't change. They said that the motor will have an idling speed of 1500 RPM with the red line set at a crazy high number of 25,000. Then they also told me to take a closer look at the number of parts of the new engine design, since it will use less. Now first I thought, let's count them, but then I took a look at the diagram and just decided that I could not count past 10, and I just outright asked them what the number was. And we have the official numbers. So originally, the design would have had 114 parts, and that included everything. And now, the total number has shrunken down to just 82. And that includes everything, including bolts and washers. Less parts means less maintenance and more longevity. Moreover, the car won't ever burn any of the oil inside of the engine, because oil never cross-contaminates into the combustion chamber or exhaust ever. This means that all of the pollutants associated with burning oil will never come out of this engine's exhaust. It also means that you would be able to drive longer between oil changes. With the combination of hydrogen fuel and the impressive performance capabilities, this engine is a highly anticipated development in the world of automotive technology. I can't wait to see how this engine will perform in real world applications and how it will impact the industry as a whole. If you want to see more on this engine, just stay tuned, cool things are coming. And if you would like to know how everything works, again, stay tuned, I will be making a video going in depth on how everything works and how this engine actually runs. Anyways, let me know what you think of this engine, are you excited for it, and where do you think it will be used? Me personally, with it being that small and producing that much power, I'd probably put it in something really tiny, like a small mini or an old Corsa or something like that, something that weighs practically nothing. You put this great strong motor in that's really small and really lightweight and you'll have a monster on your hands. 
But that's me. Where would you put it? Let me know down below. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you like all of my other stuff, so just go through it, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.